I am, I'm a writer, producer, actress, and director. I saw kids, and that was probably the first time I encountered the work of Black Clock. I was actually looking for this photo. I went into Printed Matter, the store in New York, when it was in Soho, and, they, and someone said there was an, a Tulsa exhibition in there. And the photo I was looking for was two guys having sex with a girl. And I was really disturbed by the photo, and I said, I want to meet the guy who made this, because it looks like the girl isn't having any fun, you know. And I went in there, and I was like, oh my god, there's these black and white photos, and I saw the kids' photos, and I was like, it's the same guy who did kids, you know? And he just happened to be behind the counter signing posters on accident. And basically, uh, I asked the lady about the photo, and she didn't know, and she's like, why don't you just ask him? He's right here. And I said, okay. And I asked him, and I said, I don't like that photo, but I'm looking for this photo that you took. And he looked at me, and he said that he didn't take the photo. I think that now is somebody whose images you've seen, and they kind of seep somehow into your consciousness. And the pictures that he had done, the Tulsa images, and then also kids, and, and also stills from, from kids as well, were very powerful images. I was taking pictures of skate kids and kids in clubs around that time. Kate Jones had taken a photo of me when I was 16, and she had asked me, it was the undressed issue of ID, I think it was in 1996, and she said, they say oh, uh, all these people were undressing in the issue, and um, they asked everyone who would they undress, and I said Larry Clark. And actually, when I had met Larry in that store that day, I said, hold on, I have something to give you. And I ran back, and I got that and gave it to him, so. I was always looking for kids that I thought were interesting, that I wanted to photograph. It was her and Yakira, and they were in a coffee shop. They were visiting London. And so I asked her whether I could photograph her. And that's how I first got to know Tim. Kate was the first photographer to put me in a magazine, an international magazine. You know, sometimes in life, things obviously don't go the way you plan them, but you just, sometimes, you know, you just know in your heart certain things are gonna happen, you know?